Hey Demi. Hi Kabir. Yeah. Are we live? It's all right now. Um, it's a little dark there, I think. All right. Mm -hmm. So I, I see that we're live, and I just want to say, mm -hmm. I, I want to mention something that mm -hmm. I can't believe that just happened. Never happened to me uh, mm -hmm. in my business life, and might cause us to I don't know what it would mean in terms of this event. Maybe we won't be able to make it. Let's see as mm -hmm. we go. About twenty minutes ago. Um, mm -hmm. our, someone near uh, where I'm staying right now started, mm -hmm. uh, like had a, a break of one of the pipes in where, uh, in that house and oh. invited someone uh, in a rush to open up the floor and they're doing tons of noise, really, well, really that, unexpected. That's crazy. Huh? Yeah, I tried yeah. to move to, uh -huh. this is the noise. If it will be too much and we, I, we would have to postpone the event and I'm really, really sorry for everyone. Uh, but if it won't be too much and I would love to, to do this event uh, all the way through, um, let's see how it goes. I'm really sorry, guys, if you're listening to this and you have this noise in, uh, in the background. Um, yeah, but uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, if you guys can write us in the chat, if the noise is way too much and you think that we should not do this event and it's better that you tell us then that we would do an event that uh, would bother everyone. Mm. Hello, Anna from India, join us. Mm. How do you I feel, Demi? It's, it's a little noisy, I think. This is so unfortunate. All right, and, and let me tell you more than that, you know what? Because mm -hmm. I have the feeling like the right decision would be to to not do the full event um, mm -hmm. and maybe to do something a little bit shorter in a little bit different format and then reschedule our call. But I just want to make it even more crazy, all right? Listen to mm -hmm. that. Um, I live in Israel, and Israel is currently at war. So 12 hours ago, yeah. I was... Yeah. What? 12 hours ago, Lord, I was wa waking up to, mm -hmm. if that noise is not enough, to alarms outside, red alert alarms. And literally missiles were um, like were, were shot towards the town where I live in and towards the center of the country. And it's a mess all over the place as if that is not enough. Because I wanted, I wanted to start this event by apologizing to you and saying, listen, we're in a very sensitive situation right now. And if an alarm will, uh, will go off, then I would have to literally leave the, uh, the live event in the middle of it and run to the shelters because this is what we're instructed to do. But I definitely did not expect that to come as well uh, 15 minutes before we're getting started. Um, uh, someone say that let's just do it. Yeah, you um, think so? Anyone else? So show you show your opinion. I think now I can I can stand it now. All right, all right. Uh, let, let's give it a try. I mean, mm -hmm. I also moved to the furthest uh, room in the house as further as I could, so you guys see a little bit mess behind me, and you don't see a clear picture. Usually, I have a more clear picture, but you know what? Let's just dive down into it. And guys, if you see. That it's too much, then write us in, write in the comments, and uh, we would postpone uh, the event. Mm -hmm. right. uh, yes. So, yeah, let's get started. Yeah. So, um, could you please first introduce yourself to our audience? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so, my name is Kfir. I have a super unpronounceable name. Uh, it's it means a lion cub in uh, mm -hmm. the language of Hebrew. It's quite an ancient uh, name. Uh, so it has a cool meaning, but it's unpronounceable. So whatever you pronounce is fine. Uh, I started uh, the software company DSM Tool uh, five, almost six years ago, uh, where we were doing dropshipping on eBay ourselves. And back then the tools that we were using were just not good enough. I actually started doing dro eBay dropshipping and 48 hours later, I stopped because it felt like the software that was out there felt like using Windows 95 at the time that iPhone X existed in the market. And mm -hmm. it just didn't make sense to me that, that I would run a business like that. And my business partner um, said, who was also a brilliant developer, said, you know what, let's just build the software for ourselves. And we started developing something for ourselves. And uh, after a while, we said, you know what, let's add to this thing that we built to ourselves an option for subscription, because we were members of a community of a thousand people. And we said, let's 
make a subscription and like if you get i don't know these thousand people to use our software as well we'll make a lot of money on the side while running our business what ended up is that the software completely blew up and went completely viral all over youtube all over the world um and we have become one of the industry standard softwares for doing ebay drop shipping um and this is mainly what we do today. Today we are a software company and we're developing mm -hmm. automation tools for people that uh, are dropshipping on eBay and on Shopify and soon on other marketplaces as well. Yeah, also Shopify, not only eBay, right? That's right. Yeah, you guys did a very good job because um, I think you guys did a very good floor. Thank you. I'm actually going to demonstrate it in a, in yeah. a few minutes. Yeah, cool. And uh, um, so uh, not a lot of people join us, but that doesn't matter because they, they can see it, see the recorded video on our YouTube channel later and also on our Perfect. Facebook group. Okay. So yeah, um, okay. the left time is for you. So you just uh, could start today's live channel. Okay. All right. So mm -hmm. I, I wanted to start by answering, like I want to divide okay. this conversation into two parts. In part mm -hmm. number one, I want to give a little bit the basics of eBay dropshipping and why is it, how is it different from Shopify dropshipping and how is it different from maybe Amazon FBA and all of these other, because, yeah. you know, when people want to start doing dropshipping, they want to start doing dropshipping, but how can you tell where, what should you start? And I want to give that introduction to eBay dropshipping. I'm going to talk uh, also about whether it's allowed or not, there is a very big consensus around the eBay dropshipping policy. So I do want to explain it to give the disclaimer or uh, and give and be transparent with everyone in regards to what is allowed, what is not allowed. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about uh, the general strategy that I see that is the right way to work with specifically with CJ dropshipping um, when it comes to doing dropshipping on eBay. And then after that, I'm, I'm going to move to talking about using CJ dropshipping together uh, with the software DSM tool. And I'm going to show a little bit the functionalities uh, within that within the software. Um, and I say, let's jump right into it and get started. And if you have questions or, or people in the audience have questions, feel free to, uh, let's say, between sections, I'll try to remember to stop and give time for questions. But if you see that I don't remember, then please stop me and uh, and Feel free to ask the questions. No worries. So, I, I, I could show it on the screen. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Cool. I didn't know that, that there is such an option. All right. So, uh, and I want to be, um, I was supposed to organize all of my tabs open before the webinar, right? But then mm -hmm. all of this mess started. So you will see me a little bit uh, opening tabs and, and going into websites uh, as I speak, but I think it will be fine. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. So let me share my screen. If Sorry? you want to share your screen, I will add it to the screen, okay? Yeah, I just add shared my screen. Live, live stream, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see you now. Oh, yeah? Is it shared with everyone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can see it now. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So, the eBay, to explain what is eBay dropshipping, all I need to do is to show you this example because this example is the end result we can talk now for four hours i give uh, we have a, in dsm tool a, a course for beginners and ebay dropshipping step to step a to z takes you through the entire process talks about cg dropshipping as well it's six hours materials which is great because you're starting your own business so you need something takes you step by step but eventually eventually everything is all about that you see this product on ebay yeah, now you can it's, it's sunglasses. It's exactly sunglasses you can see that it's sold for sixteen dollars and eight cents and that is shipped for three dollars and sixty cents but what interests us dropshippers on ebay dropshippers is to see that it was sold and if i would go into if i would click on the uh, number of solds i would also be able to see how many times it was sold and when it was sold so um, what's interesting for us as dropshippers is that this product that you see with that price was sold already 10 times 
right? If I would go into it, this is not the perfect example because it was not sold in the past week or in the past 30 days a couple of times. And when we do product research, we look for products that were sold in the past days for a couple of uh, times, let's say at least three times in the past 30 days would be a good, uh, good product to sell. But this is just a product for educational purposes. So you can see that it was sold 10 times and you can see the price, right? And you can see all over here, the location of that item. The item location is Hong Kong, China, meaning that it is shipped from China. So knowing all of that information, if I am a dropshipper, uh, I can take an advantage and I can do, uh, I can use some techniques of market research. Research, this technique is called sniping. Um, and I can locate the exact same product in this example on AliExpress. And we are going to talk also about CJ dropshipping later and I'll explain uh, where does CJ go into the picture. But I'm using in this case AliExpress because I just want to show you the difference in the price. Look at that, it's $16.08 versus $3.50. Plus if I uh, do shipping to the United States, I'm not even gonna use like the, the slow shipping. I can use a relatively, it's not as fast as CJ, I know, but it's relatively fast shipping uh, with tracking information. So it's quite reliable kind of shipping. These are, these are types of shipping that are by sea and this is by air. This is why it's faster. Um, and it would cost $3.79, uh, but even then we're talking about, let's open a calculator for a second. We're talking about selling a product for $16.08 uh, and let's add to it the shipping, right? 360. And this is not just offering a product. This product was actually sold for that price, right? It was sold for almost 20 bucks. And then paying for it, let's reduce how much we need to pay for it. Reduce 3.5 minus 3.79 and we get to $12 and $39, uh, $0.39 difference in the price between those two websites. And what we as drop as dropshippers on eBay do is we all, we keep trying to find these kind, we call those arbitrage opportunities. We keep trying to find these kind of arbitrage opportunities between two websites. And then, um, then we try to sell that product on eBay and generate a sale and then go to that other website, in this case, AliExpress, in the next example that I'm gonna show it's or in the next explanation, it's gonna be CJ dropshipping, and we can uh, buy that product and ship it to the customer. Uh, now, most of the people that are listening to this uh, interview are probably familiar with the concept of dropshipping. The question is, what makes eBay dropshipping so unique for example, in comparison to Shopify dropshipping, because you could sell this product also on Shopify and source it from CJ or from AliExpress, right? Um, and to answer that, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna go into the DSM tool blog, it's called the Dropship Academy, and we have an article. Uh, we have here uh, tons of uh, interesting content, uh, like complete guides, how to get started, like really awesome stuff, uh, but, one of my favorite articles, I'm gonna write here the word versus, so you could find it, is this article that shows the difference. I also have a video about it on our YouTube channel, shows the difference between eBay, Shopify, and Amazon. And this table over here, I think emphasize it very, very nicely. So when it comes to eBay uh, versus Shopify, versus uh, Amazon, Amazon FBA in that case, uh, then if you look at, at inventory, uh, when you drop ship on Shopify, you don't need inventory. When you don't uh, drop ship on eBay, you don't need inventory. But if you're doing Amazon FBA, you're going to have to buy inventory and ship it to the warehouses of Amazon, which costs a lot of money. When it comes to advertising budget, with Amazon FBA, you will you you don't necessarily need the budget. A lot of times you actually do need a budget because people do something that's called PPC on Amazon. I'm not gonna go into it. When it comes to Shopify, you will definitely need a budget because otherwise there is no way for you to get any 
customers to buy from you. But when it comes to eBay, again, you don't need any advertisement budget. And this is what makes it such a, a, a great opportunity versus Shopify or, and Amazon FBA. The fact that when you make that sale for $19, right, 1968, you are paying to eBay and PayPal about about 14%, depending on where you're from, yada, yada, yada. So you pay $2.7 and what you're act it's called selling fee. And what you're actually paying for is you're paying eBay for bringing you the customer. So eBay generates the customer for you and you pay them for that, but you only pay after you made the sale. So oh. eventually you're left with $90 and right that's the that's how much you got paid for if we reduce from that the two dollars and 75 this is how much you paid instead of paying for advertising on facebook which you don't know you you put those two dollars and 75 in facebook you don't know if you're going to make a sale but here you only pay for to ebay after you already made the sale so there is no risk uh, so you reduce the 275 and you reduce the uh, price of the product i already forgot how much it was where is it Let's make it minus 3.5, minus 3.79. You are left with almost $10 profit without paying for inventory and without paying for advertisement. That sounds terrific, right? Also, it's very, very, very simple to use. In terms of simplicity, eBay dropshipping with a software like DSM tool is probably 10 times easier than uh, starting your own website on Shopify or doing uh, Amazon with everything that is related to how to manage uh, an Amazon uh, FBA business. What is the downside of all of that? The downside is in that in comparison to the scalability that you can get from Shopify and the scalability that you can get in Amazon, eBay dropshipping is not really built for scalability. So you can make nice profits. If you're a beginner and if you've never done dropshipping in your life, this is probably the best way to get started. Um, but, uh, but the downside will be that in comparison to these, uh, two methods that has a lot of risk in them, right? Cause if you pay for advertisement and if you pay for inventory, you take a risk and it's a general, I didn't make that business rule. I, I didn't make up this business rule. It's a known business rule that the higher the risk that you take, the higher the potential return is. And this case is exactly the same. So eBay dropshipping is a, uh, low risk and not so bad uh, return, especially for beginners that has no experience. So uh, in, conclusion, in conclusion that the eBay dropshipping um, has the lowest risk and uh, it's very easy to start, but um, for the shortcoming is it's um, the profit margin is lower than Shopify dropshipping and Amazon FBA. Right? I, I wouldn't say the profit margin because it's not about the profit margin per sale. It's about mm -hmm. scalability. So think okay. that about uh, that you have in both options, you have the option to make, I don't know, let's say 20% profit margin on, on, uh, on a product. Then on, in Shopify, if you build your system of how you do everything the right way, uh, you will have an easier way to scale it up and make one sale a thousand sales. Where on eBay, that one sale could turn into 10, 20, maybe even a hundred sales, not very often, but maybe even a hundred sales. But it, it's not something that you can scale to that level. Hmm, that's very clear. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Do we have any questions about it? Hi, guys. Feel free to drop a questions anytime during live training, okay? Okay, perfect. So can I continue? Yes. Next right. question is dropshipping, eBay dropshipping loud, right? Right. Uh, this is probably the, like people that would listen to uh, this live and have heard something about eBay dropshipping. One of the things, the first thing that I hear people say is, wait a second, that's not even allowed to do it on eBay. So what the hell? And I want to explain exactly what is allowed, exactly what is not allowed, and what are the implications of it being allowed or not allowed. So. Um, in the beginning of, two th you know what, I'll start from the beginning of our company. When we started the company, we it was allowed to a level that eBay were 
constantly inviting our team to their offices. We visited uh, uh, eBay's offices here in Israel. Uh, it's it was five minutes from our offices. Today we work from home fully, but back then uh, it was five minutes from our office. Uh, we were in discussions there. It was perfectly fine. And then in the beginning of 2019, there was a change on eBay and the um, practice of eBay dropship of dropshipping. And I, I want to show you the exact policy, right? eBay released mm -hmm. this policy. You can see it here. Yeah. Um, can you see? Yes. All right. Now. eBay released this policy that says that dropshipping, also known as product sourcing, is when you buy, this is the most important part, is when you buy stock from a supplier and work with them to send the items directly to your buyers without handling them yourself. Meaning, and we're going to talk soon about CJ, meaning that theoretically speaking, even when you use the, when you source products, you, when you use the source option in CJ, and you put in the settings, and I'm going to show it in a few minutes. You put in the settings, mm -hmm. the dropshipping option, theoretically, only theoretically speaking, we're going to go talk about practice in a minute. Theoretically speaking, it could also be uh, against the uh, eBay dropshipping policy. And uh, if you use, and, and if we continue, dropshipping where you fulfill orders directly from a wholesale supplier is allowed on eBay, meaning that uh, uh, if you use CJ, for example, then if you would buy a stock from CJ and you would store it in the CJ uh, warehouse, it is 100% allowed, no discussion there. Having said, oh, okay, and the last thing that I want to say is that uh, they, they explained that uh, fulfilling orders from wholesale suppliers is okay. However, listing an item on eBay and purchasing the item from another retailer or marketplace that ships directly to your customer is not allowed on eBay. Meaning that what I just showed you Purchasing that product from AliExpress directly and shipping it to the customer by policy is not allowed. And there is no way around it. It's not allowed. Now, the question is, okay, if it's not allowed, then how does eBay enforce that policy, right? It's one thing that eBay says it's not allowed. And another thing, what do they do with it? Will they ban your account? Will What will they do? So. What will happen, and I'm going to use our blog again just to show you that email that you're going to get if you're going to do dropshipping uh, in that way that is in that against the policy. Let me write here the word policy so everyone will know how to get to this article if they want to read it as well. It's at blog.dsmtool.com, um, and this is the article eBay uh, dropshipping policy explained. And you see this email. Uh, this is a, a screenshot from a phone from eBay uh, where they were, if you would start doing dropshipping on eBay today, and let's say that you would dropship exactly that product that I showed from AliExpress, then there is a chance it's never 100%. There is no clear pattern, except of that most sellers would get it. Uh, you would eventually get this email that says selling practices policy seller notice, we have determined that you haven't followed our selling practices, the dropshipping policy. Okay, so eBay knows when we're doing dropshipping. There is an evidence in your account um, that you're purchasing items from an online retailer or marketplace after you sell the item on eBay and having that retailer ship the item directly to the customer, which is exactly what we, they said here in the policy that is not allowed to do. And they say we have an evidence for that. While in violation of this policy, the account will not be eligible for top rated program until it is in compliance. Meaning the only implication that eBay is having on your account is that you will not be able to become eligible for the top rated program. Officially, this is the only implication that they have, which brings the question, what the hell is the top rated seller program and why is it so bad not to be part of it? What am I losing by choosing to use that business model? Because the alternative, remember, is, as they say, to buy stock from a supplier and work with them to send the items directly. So you need to buy stock. You need to spend money ahead, not after you made the sale. Okay, so if I don't want to take the risk, let's say, I don't have the money. I don't have the experience in digital marketing and, or in product sourcing. I'm a complete beginner and I still want to use that methodology. What is the top rated seller program? 
So the top rated seller program uh, is a program on eBay. You can read about the full explanation of it, but I want to, to mention the benefits of the top rated seller program, uh, which are the most important thing. Top rated, top rated sellers receive enhanced visibility in eBay search results. This is the one and only and most important uh, thing that you need to know if you choose to do dropshipping on eBay. Top rated sellers, because um, top rated sellers are gonna rank higher than you on average. What do I mean by that? I mean that uh, if, um, if eBay, I mean, how, how does it work? Let's, let's go to eBay for a second to show, right? How do you make that sales? We said that you pay eBay for giving your customers, right? So let's say that someone goes into eBay and look for, looks for a toy for their dog and they write a, a dog toy. Then if this seller is top rated, as you can see here, he has better chance to appear on the first page than you. But what does it mean better chance? The way that search engines work, and you probably hear it about Google, and it's the same thing about eBay, is that different people get different search results. So when a million people would write dog toy during, uh, let's say 100,000 people per day are writing uh, dog toy uh, in, in eBay, or 100 people per minute, right? In that minute, this seller will probably appear 95% of the time, or 80% of the time, and the rest of the sellers, maybe that are not top rated seller, maybe you, you would appear in far less times. So you will have less visibility on eBay in comparison to top rated sellers, which is the price that you have to pay for choosing this business model, which is the price that you have to pay for not taking the risk and not putting an investment ahead of time. But that's the only implication. That's what it means. And by um, and I want to mention one thing about it that is very, very important for you to understand if you do choose to do eBay dropshipping, and this is something that I very much believe in. I believe, and this is, until now it was fact, right? You saw the implications, the, the policy, the email, the top rated seller program, these are facts. I cannot argue with them, but I do want to argue with whether you need to be a top rated seller or not when you are a dropshipper on eBay that you use this methodology. Because if you think about it, and I'm talking in, um, in business perspective, if you would invest in an inventory, then being a top rated seller is super, super important for you. Why? Because uh, you are invested and you have this this inventory that you need to get rid of and having increased visibility is very, very important for you. But if you're doing, doing dropshipping like I showed you, I gave you, I think that I showed here, I, yeah, I only wrote uh, one product, but if I'll go to, we use this calculator in the course. Um, I'm not gonna explain this calculator today. Maybe we'll get to it later, but we have a list of a lot, a lot of products like, we, on a daily basis, we do a research and you see all of these products. I, there are 173. These are from uh, products that we collect to our live events on YouTube. If I would go one by one throughout this product, all of them are profitable products to sell on eBay. Not, of them, not all of them are still profitable because some of them were uh, found long time ago and maybe the price changed and maybe the price on eBay changed. But when we found them, which is something that you can do on a daily basis, they were profitable. So when you are using the dropshipping uh, that is not allowed from another marketplace or retailer, you are able to change your entire inventory in two clicks. That's all you need. You don't have any risk that you took when you bought the inventory. And therefore, having this little bit of traffic that you get from eBay in comparison to top rated sellers is just enough for you to find really good products and make enough sales to make enough profits. This is what I believe in, that even with reduced visibility, I mean, top rated sellers, if they want to source a profit, a, a, a trending product, think about trending products, right? The product is now 
trending, making tons of sales. For a seller that doesn't that does follow the the policy and never fulfills order from other marketplaces like CJ or AliExpress, they need to buy that, they need to find that item, they need to contact the supplier, they need to buy the inventory, they need to make sure that it gets shipped. All you need to do, if there is a trend today, all you need to do is click two buttons and these products are in your store. You're much quicker than those big sellers with tons of inventory, which makes, um, which gives you an advantage over them. And this is, and this advantage by keeping this activity and constantly finding new trends and constantly posting new products and constant, constantly optimizing your store, you have, you can't generate as many sales as top rated sellers, but you can definitely uh, generate great sales and make nice profits on eBay. Does it make sense what I'm saying? Yeah. How do you feel good. about it? Uh, All right. Uh, I would like to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is uh, counts more like, like which is more important uh, when you do eBay job shipping? Is it um, good products or is is it a good marketing marketing strategy? <laughs> it's definitely good products. Mm -hmm. Definitely, like by far, good products will always win. Uh, but I'm going to show you in the as we continue this video. Yeah. I'm going to show you some marketing tactics that you can use in order to make sure that the good products that you have found are that were great per yeah. performing even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I'm going to talk about it soon. Uh, yeah, so. But mm -hmm. I, I just want to mention one more thing about uh, eBay dropshipping policy because a lot of people that would hear what I said until now would and have heard about uh, eBay dropshipping before and have, have heard about the policy, might have heard that if you're doing dropshipping on eBay, your account will get flagged. This is how it's called, flagged account. And then that maybe you're not allowed to use a software and you need to use something that is called non-API and all kind of nonsense that is going around. I wrote about it in the blog a lot. There are articles about it. I am highly against this. Um, this conspiracy, but I want to use actually a custom a, a use case of a customer uh, that is a that is using CJ dropshipping. I mean, you can't get it any better than that, right? Because CJ dropshipping supposedly is not against the eBay dropshipping policy in most of its activity. So a customer that um, sorry, I'll start with with uh, what people believed. Right? Remember that I said that uh, that you get lower visibility on eBay on the eBay search results. So a couple of months before, this is a post from, ah, wait a second, where is it? Okay, this is a post from November, 2018, about three months before eBay released their dropshipping policy. Um, and this is uh, in the um, DSM tool Facebook community. Uh, let me close this one. And I want to show you here what this person says. It's about three months before the eBay policy was released, and therefore a lot of people connect one to the other, okay? Uh, there is a feature on eBay that is called promoted listings. Have you ever heard of it? No, not really. Okay, so what is promoted listings on eBay? Remember that I said that you have to pay a fee to eBay for giving for making a sale? Yeah, 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 it just told it's me. Called a sale. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, if you go on eBay and you search for any product, like let's say dog toy, mm -hmm. the first search results, you see uh, within the first search results, you will have a couple of them that says sponsored on top of them. Mm. Like someone oh. paid to put here the, this product. So the promoted listings feature is a feature on eBay. And when you start selling on eBay, you will be, have access to the promoted listings and you can go to the DSM tool channel. We are doing, a, we're soon going to do a webinar about it. And there is already one video about it. Uh, so that's about how to use it, right? But now I just want to talk about the theory behind it. The idea is that uh, you can uh, set up or you can say to eBay, hey, you remember that 14% fee? I'm going to give you 10% extra. So I'm going to pay 25% of my selling price if you would put me here in the first page sponsored results. So you're kind of paying more to eBay for every sale that you make. 
It's called uh, promoted listings and it makes you appear over here. And what happened is that a lot of users were promoting their entire store. You see this user probably had yeah. about 1,200 uh, products in his store and he was promoting. And then when he was promoting, you see, you have three steps in the promotion. You can get an impression. What is an impression? This is an impression. Now, when mm -hmm. this person, when I saw this uh, advertisement, basically this sponsored listing, this seller just got an impression to his statistics. And then you have clicks, right? If I would click on it, it would re register as a click. So now I clicked on it and you have it here. He had 350,000 impressions, 2000 clicks. And from these 2000 clicks, he generated 83 sales, right? And you can see ad fees here. He had to pay $135 for these 83 sales. This is how this system works. Um, and what happened is that tons of eBay dropshippers, this person, and look at the comments, like this guy says same here and shows a screenshot of the exact same thing. A lot of people that are doing eBay dropshipping started experiencing this drop in promoted listings. Um, and for a very, very long time, it was there, are, there were a lot of theories developed about why it happens. People related it to the dropshipping policy and said, eBay, re remember that email? When you get that email from eBay, this email, they flag your account and then they also stop giving you uh, um, impressions in the, in the eBay promoted listings. Uh, there were tons of theories and people said, uh, it's not the flagging, it's the software that you're using. So people even said, you're not allowed to use DSM tool. Some people still say that, uh, but I want to show you a use case of someone that is uh, called Walter, is a, a customer of DSM tool and a customer of CJ dropshipping. And he posted just three months ago, the question, have I been flagged? I'm pretty sure. And a lot of people said, yes, you have been flagged, yada, yada, yada. And he shared his screenshot and you can see this is his promoted listings. Remember impressions and then page views. And you see the huge drop in the promoted listings uh, impressions. And I, uh, and I contacted him because he's a DSM tool user. So I contacted him and I asked him, hey, Walter, what's going on? Uh, do you have any idea what happened? Did you call eBay? Tell me, tell me a little bit about your, like what's going on in your business lately. And you know what I found out? I found out that apparently Walter was going through something personal in his life. I'm not going to talk about what he went through, but he went through something personal in his life that didn't uh, gave him enough time to continue doing that research, to find new trends, to uh, find more trending products, to follow, like to find profitable arbitrage opportunities, to do market research, to do the optimization, to do, to keep his store active. And what happened in, in what I believe that happened is that if you think about it, this system of promotions is run by an artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence. And then what they do is when they show you, when you let, when he started, when he was here at this time in January 17, you see, he got almost 20,000 impressions for his products over here. The AI system of eBay was giving him a lot of impressions here. And because he wasn't active in his store, then what happened is that um, he had a lot of impressions, but his impressions, here it is, his impressions didn't turn into enough clicks and into enough sales. And then, and why did it happen? Because his products were outdated. We just wow. talked about it a couple of minutes ago. You have to continuously change your inventory. Otherwise, think about it. Like if you have a trending product, then at some point, someone that actually buys inventory will buy that inventory. And what happens when you buy inventory? The price go down. So you can never compete with those people that buy inventory. You can never compete with the big sellers on eBay that, that are following the dropshipping policy when you're a dropshipper. You have to always change your inventory constantly, all the time, do market research. You remember your question, what is most important? This is why product is the most important thing when you're dropshipping on eBay, because you can't have outdated product. Your inventory has to constantly be up to date with the best trends, the most trending products. Cool. Now, the last thing that I want to say about this story is that 
after I had that talk with Walter, I explained to him my theory and I told him, listen, I think that you should start trying to maybe uh, do more mar better market research. Maybe try to list products that are not from uh, dropshipping, maybe products from your home. And look at that. After March 23, a little bit later, you see from being nothing, suddenly he became more active. The personal thing in his life was starting to pass. He had more time to invest in his business. And look what he says here. I had slow sales and impressions, so I figure out if I had me flagged or something. I don't believe there is such thing as flagging because you're doing dropshipping. I think that there is such thing as your story is just not attractive anymore. Uh, so he says, so I bought an item yesterday afternoon, just a book, uh, just a book I wanted. Well, take a look at my impressions. Now I'm going to kickstart my, promote, uh, my promotions again by asking a few items around the house uh, again. He's going to sell products from home and he's starting to get more impressions. It's the same way he could do better market research and change his inventory and might get uh, better impressions from the artificial intelligence of eBay. So this is the whole answer to the question of whether it is allowed or not allowed, the complete answer with the entire theory behind uh, whether it is allowed or it is not allowed um, to do dropshipping on eBay. Yeah, so um, products count a lot, also the inventory. What is the inventory? Um, products and the yeah. the how relevant the products are yeah. that counts a lot and the performance of the product so if a product stops performing you need to remove it from your store we actually have in dsm tool alerts that shows you hey this product is not performing why don't you remove it from your store why don't you try to source it from a better uh, source maybe cj Oh, so DSM tool, so um, keep an eye on your products performance. Yeah, I'm going to show you that in a, in a few minutes. But yeah. before, so I, we're we're getting to the second part of mm -hmm. uh, of this uh, call where we we talked a little bit we talked a lot about the basics of ebay dropshipping but the reason that it was important for me to start from that and not jump start immediately to show what is dsm tool how it works is because transparency is one of the things that are most important for me and i think that people that are considering to start ebay dropshipping should know what they're going into and cuz usually um, influencers online will focus on the good sides, we'll not talk about the challenges. And I prefer to put everything like on the table. Listen guys, this is what you're getting into. You should know that. Um, because I believe that it creates trust and I, I need you guys to trust me if I'm asking you to let me teach you how to do, how to make money online, right? I think that it's fair mm -hmm. enough. Um, in terms of, of, uh, I, I want to show you how to use DSM tool, but in order to show you how to use DSM tool, I want to talk about CJ dropshipping, right? Because we're talking about everything you need to know about eBay dropshipping on the CJ dropshipping channel. So I think it's only fair if we do explain in all of this thing that I just showed, where does CJ dropshipping come into the picture? I mean, why the hell did I just show in the beginning a product from AliExpress and not immediately went to CJ dropshipping? And the way that CJ dropshipping uh, works or what CJ allows us to do as dropshippers, I wanna show you. I mean, you already know about it, but I wanna show it and so everyone would see it as well. I'm, I'm, this is CJ dropshipping and soon I'm gonna show how to like, if I go to CG dropshipping itself, then there is tons of products here, right? And I, we're not gonna go today through how to do market research step-by-step step, uh, for that. We just don't have enough time for that. So for that, I would recommend people to either uh, go and watch it in the uh, DSM tool YouTube channel. We talk about it in every second video uh, or take the the, image, the complete step-by-step uh, -step course, which shows really how to go through with video lessons and everything. Um, but theoretically speaking, you could use CJ dropshipping like AliExpress. It's pretty much 
like it's it's a um, it's also a, 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 a marketplace. There are also products that you can buy, but how many items, how many products are available on CJ Dropshipping, Demi? Um, how many products are like, uh, I think it's like um, more than, uh, uh, sorry, my math is very bad, but. Um, Last time I heard more than 200,000. More than 200,000? More than that. More yeah. Than... Okay. Which is an incredible number, but it's not comparable well, it's to like um, uh, five thousand. More than five thousand. More than five hundred. Half a million. Hmm. Half a million. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. And it's um. um yeah, we are adding it every day. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I think that it's incredible. And I think that you can do a lot by doing market research directly from CJ Dropshipping. And having said that, I think that it's very hard to for CJ to compete with the number of different kind of products that exist in AliExpress because AliExpress has more than a billion products in the platform. And it these are just two different platforms. And therefore, when you do... Um, the usual market research with the sniping method, I mentioned that name, which I'm not going to show now, but I mentioned that name sniping method. It's a little bit harder to do sniping from CJ dropshipping, a little bit easier to do it from AliExpress. But what the most, but, but CJ has one of the most powerful tools that I want to demonstrate here, which is let's take the product that, uh, that I showed you earlier, right? Here is this product on AliExpress. Let me open it. Remember, this product was selling really good on eBay. And then we said, OK, let's source it from AliExpress. What CJ Dropshipping allows you to do as an eBay dropshipper is it allows you to find those products on AliExpress and then go to CJ, open an account, and create something that is called a sourcing request. And you can do 15 sourcing requests per month, uh, per day, sorry, right? Yeah, 15 sourcing requests per day. So 15 products that you find in market research, and that's way more than enough, especially for beginners. 15 of these products, all that you have to do is once you found them on AliExpress, sell them, start selling them, start, start selling them, list the items from AliExpress, but at the same time, open a, a request to source them from CJ Dropshipping. And you can see here, I was putting, I actually, this is the first time that I'm seeing the result because I was opening it yesterday, uh, sorry, two days ago. Uh, but I created two days ago, these exact sunglasses, I, I created a request for them, right? Oh, sorry about that, I clicked, uh, I clicked the backwards button. And, Wait, I think, okay, here it is. And see, look, this is incredible. So I just opened that request in, um, in CJ and the item was sourced for me for $1.14 uh, plus 75. Uh, it's exactly it's exactly the same pricing if you if you look at it than what I had in in AliExpress, right? I had mm -hmm. here the shipping was three seventy nine, and the shipping on CJ is three seventy five, even cheaper. But look at the price of the sunglasses one dollar and fourteen versus three fifty, and this is so so powerful tool for eBay dropshippers, because we can do our product research using AliExpress and then go to CJ, go and open a sourcing request. And I want to uh, show actually something about the sourcing request. If I will start a new sourcing request, um, where is it? Here it is. Then I could, let's say that I found another product, then I can go here and I would need to upload the image of the product. And I would need to fill up a form, kind of like a form that requests that product for a cheaper price, which is exactly what I've done to this product two days ago, which is exactly what created this product for a cheaper price. Um, 
when I'm filling that form, and this is what's important, I'm going to have two options to choose from, the purchasing type. And this is the most important thing. If there is one thing that I can give as, as a, a, that people need to go out from this webinar with, it's how to use CJ dropshipping to increase your profits when you're doing eBay dropshipping. After you find the item that you want to sell, you go to CJ and you open a request. And in the purchasing type, you choose dropshipping and not bulk research. Why is that? Bulk purchase will be to ask CJ to give you an inventory of, let's say, 100 products. But our entire conversation until now, what was it about? It was about not taking any risk. It was about um, not, not being a seller on eBay that holds an inventory, not, doing, not taking the, the risk when you start your business. And so you don't want to bulk purchase. You want to drop ship it. So you need, if you create a drop shipping uh, request, what CJ team will do is they will try to contact the, the, um, the factory or a manufacturer, or I, I don't know how you guys do it. You do your magic somehow and you manage to source those yeah. products. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, call them manufacturer. We contact the original, uh, the uh, factory who manufacture the products. Incredible. All right. So now uh, we, we didn't talk about, uh, we're missing like a huge part, but this webinar is just too short to talk about it. We're missing the part on how to find the products. But um, let me tell you two things. First, uh, there are great software out there on how to find products. And we're going to add to DSM tool very soon our own, uh, so our own piece of software that will help you do uh, market research on eBay dropshipping. Uh, I know that you guys are in, in collaboration with software like Zik Analytics, and I know of PowerDrop, which is a wonderful software uh, for eBay market research. Uh, and there are, and you can use the software to find the products, or you can go to one of our webinars. This software just automates a process that you can do manually, and you can manually find uh, products to sell as well. We have a webinar that shows step by step how to. Uh, find uh, profitable products. We're not going to show how to do this in this webinar, as I said. So, but we're going to start from the moment that you do have that product, and let's say that you started selling it, or you opened a request from CJ, and now the product, now the product is in CJ, but it's not in your store. And this is where DSM tool come into the picture. Oh. If you have, if you install, and you should install the DSM tool Chrome extension, you can see it up here. It's the DSM tool Chrome extension. Then when you go into CJ dropshipping, you will suddenly have a new button that does, I mean, this button doesn't appear to all of CJ uh, users, but it does appear if you use DSM tool, it says listing DSM tool. And then you can click on that button and DSM tool will open. So this is the first time that you guys actually see the software itself. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over a lot of its features. But the most important, most interesting feature is this one. It's called the Rapid Lister. What you could do then is you could click the Import button, and DSM tool will go to CJ, will go to the to this page here, and will start extracting as if you do copy paste. Will start extracting one by one the pictures and the title and the price and the quantity and the description and everything that exists here. And when it will finish the extraction process, it will create for you the listing, or the, it will prepare for you uh, the listing on eBay. Um, now, this is something that you can also do from CJ, right? I mean, there is a button here that says list. So why the hell would you need DSM tool to do that? I mean, here I can click with, I don't need DSM tool, I can just go to CJ dropshipping and choose my store and click list it now, and that's it. It will list it. But here is the big thing about using a software like DSM tool to manage your eBay dropshipping store when it comes to listing the products. When you use DSM tool, the first thing that happens is that in your settings, and I'm gonna show it, sorry, settings is here. In your settings, remember that I talked about the fee that you need to pay to eBay um, 
that 14% that you need to pay for e- to eBay and PayPal for generating the, the sale for you, like for bringing the, the traffic, for bringing the potential customers, you can see it that in your settings in DSM2, you can set up, and I set it up to 14%. And then what the, the lister will do, it will automatically calculate for you the price on eBay based on the price difference not just the arbitrage difference, but also including the fees that you're going to have to pay in the end. So you would be able to know your profit. And if I'll go down here and see all of the variations, you can see the estimated profit for that product. You can see that you would make here about a dollar on every one of the variations. That's the first thing. The second thing, yeah, the second thing, and, and um, you see here, you need to set the price yourself. So it would happen automatically for you in DSM tool. The second thing that is really, really great about this lister is that it gives you the full scope of optimization for um, for the products that you're posting. So remember that you asked me what is more important, the product or the marketing technique that you're using? I wanna go back for a second to the blog. And I have, there is an entire chapter on that in the course as well, but you can totally find this completely free guide here. Here it is. It's called the complete guide to eBay SEO, the best practices to gain more traffic and sales. That's how it's called. And it, it explains what it, what is SEO. It explains, remember what I told you, impressions, clicks and sales, everything that I kind of talked about. It explained the, the system on how eBay dropship, how, how eBay works and the funnel of eBay. Uh, but then we are showing here one, two, three, four, five, six parameters that you can optimize when you're listing a product. You can optimize the price of this product. You can optimize the title. You can optimize the images, the category, the item specifics, and the product description. And when it comes to the, the CJ lister, you don't really have these options over here, you can just list it to your store. But when it comes to DSM tool, then you can um, you can not just optimize your title, not, not only that, but you even have tool like this one, which is the eBay suggested keywords that adds keywords for you that you could use in order to optimize your, uh, uh, your title. So for example, it says here UV, but here I have keywords like blue light, blue light glasses. And this makes it so much more powerful when you're listing that item. So you can take keywords from here and you can build the title. You can um, take images from here and we teach where to source more images from. But not only that, you, can, you also have a tool here that creates a collage from those images to you. Now I'm, I'm just gonna click here out of field and it will make something random and it doesn't look so good, but you can play with it as much as you want and you can optimize the, the how the images look like and if you will edit, and in this case, it might not be the best way to, you, you might want to invest a little more in how you make it. I'm just doing it for educational purposes, but you can create a new main image. And what's so cool about it is that if there are a lot of sellers that are selling that product, this image is unique to you. Nobody has a collage like you, because you created it. Um, you can, the category that you're uh, listing the item to is being chosen for you automatically. And what's wonderful about the automatic choice uh, is that every category on eBay requires different item specifications. And you can fill up the item specifications very easily from here, which with CJ, you would have to go into the listing on, on eBay and edit it. So here, everything is available for you. And we even attempt to autofill it for you. We scan the product. In this case, it didn't work because as you can see, there is not a lot of information in, in this product page, a little bit, but it didn't manage to, to realize that, uh, to read this information and put the specifics. Uh, but we do teach in, in the guide, for example, when it comes to the category, uh, we do teach how to fill up, where to find the item specifics. And item specifics are really, really important to, to eBay and can really boost the, the amount of traffic that you're getting uh, for your, for, to your item. 
Uh, and then when the same thing that is related to the item specifics or the category that is chosen automatically for you that you can optimize, it also creates at the bottom, look at that. It creates a designed, pre-designed product description. Look how beautiful it is. Like oh. this is how your listing is gonna look like on eBay. This is so much more professional that's, than if you just great. list that item, oh. exactly. And it's we. I use here a feature that is called the dynamic template. And I'm uh, again, when you join DSM tool, you start getting information about it. Uh, but you can create your own templates for that. You can uh, use the dynamic template. And and uh, the last thing that is super powerful about, and again, it's specifically great for people to do eBay dropshipping. Remember that Walter, that guy that I showed, said that as soon as he started doing activity in his store, uh, he started seeing more impressions and more traffic. So, he, what if you could, um, what if you could create all of that activity without having to go every time and list that a new item every single day? What if you want to do everything in one day of the week? So we have an option that is called the schedule button where you can schedule that listing to be published later on. And we also have something that is called the bulk lister. So if you uh, list 10 items together, you can actually set them to be posted every eight hours from now until the end of the week, every eight hours. And you don't need to do anything. You don't even need to be next to the computer. So it's super, super powerful and it keeps your store more active and makes eBay generate more traffic for you. Everything is built for, for generating more traffic for you because we know that we anyway get less traffic than the top rated sellers. We have to do everything that we can in order to generate those this traffic. Once you uh, publish the product, uh, what happens is that it moves to the price monitor. A price monitor is a feature that goes every couple of hours and check, uh, in this case, I have your product from AliExpress. This account is just a demo account, um, but it can go to CJ as well, and it will sync the price and the stock. So the item goes out of stock, it would set it out of stock on eBay. The price changes, it will, it will not just change the price on eBay, it will recalculate the price according to your profit settings and according to the break-even settings. Break-even, again, the fees that you're gonna pay. So it's gonna recalculate everything you don't need to do anything. Everything happens automatically. And it shows you the performance of your product. How many views did you get? How many people uh, added it to their wish list? It's called watchers. And how many sales did you make? So products that are underperforming, you can actually see in the dashboard, you see we have something that is called a count alert. And I have here all kind of alerts. I'm not gonna go over them right now, but I have all kind of alerts that explains, uh, that, that shows me the products that are underperforming so I could take an action. So I can continuously clean up my store from underperforming products and continuously do market research to find new products and add them to the store so that they would make more sales. That's, that's these two features. Um, the next feature, and I'm not gonna go over all of the features of DSM tool because we're already like, way into the webinar, right? We're already one hour talking, uh, but uh, it's a big system. Um, but I'm gonna show the sales and orders. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm gonna start from something else. After you make a sale on eBay, um, the next thing that is important in order to generate more traffic, before I'm talking about processing orders, that's because you make a sale, now you need to process the order. So. Oh, what am I doing? I moved to a different store by mistake. I'm re the settings used to be here and the team moved it to here and I'm not used to it. Um, before I'm talking about processing the orders and how DSM tool helps you with that, I, I still wanna talk about how to generate more traffic. So I wanna show you a feature over here. We have tons of awesome features over here, but one of the most important and interesting ones is the auto messages. When you make a sale on eBay, DSM tool will send four messages to your customer. First, it will say, thank you for making the purchase. Uh, this is, it will take a couple of days to process it to you, yada, yada, yada. Then it automatically a day later, leave a positive feedback to, you, to the buyer. 
and when you leave a positive feedback to the buyer, there is a better chance that he will leave a positive feedback to you. Then after the item is shipped, and I'm gonna show you how you mark item is shipped, it says uh, the customer a message with a tracking number. eBay already sends him the tracking number, but it doesn't matter. You wanna make it personal. So you send him the tracking number as well in the message. And the last thing is after uh, seven or 30 days, depending on what you set up here, it sends them a message and saying, hey, I really hope that you like the product and I would love your feedback. And here is a direct link to the feedback, like literally, with the call for action, go and give me a feedback. And what happens when you get a positive feedback on eBay? Why is it so good? Mm -hmm. um, sorry? Why is it so important to get those positive feedbacks on eBay? Because it generates you more traffic. And this is what yeah. we're all about here. Exactly. So it, it's done all automatically. You don't need to look. It's like a complete out customer service after the sale, all automated. Now, what about uh, processing the orders? I mean, I already made a sale, okay? This, again, just for, this is for uh, um, educational purposes, but I'm gonna show you the functionality. If I make a sale, it will appear here in, in uh, the sales and orders page, and I could organize, it will be very easy for me to follow the status of the order. Why? Because I will have a, a gray card that says, this order was not yet ordered, and mm -hmm. I could click on it, and if I click on it, it will turn blue, like here. So I know that I ordered that item. So if you would only, if you work with different websites, let's say you have some products from AliExpress and some products from CJ, and you get all of those orders on eBay, how do you know what did you order and what not? I mean, it happened to me. I ordered products more than once because I couldn't mark what did I order and what not. Uh, so you can mark here what's ordered. And you can also see the tracking number status yellow, not up to date, and green, updated. So you can click on it and update the tracking number directly from DSM tool to turn it green. And as you can see here, I do have the tracking number information. But one of the coolest thing is that if you already made a sale and you have the DSM tool Chrome extension, which you can find here, there is DSM tool uh, for Chrome. And there, by the way, I talked about the course, it's also here. It's uh, when you click on learn dropshipping. Um, you can click, if you have the DSM tool for Chrome, Chrome extension, a button will be added here next to the shipping address of the buyer. And you could click copy and you see it copied the, the Chrome extension, copied all of the information. And then I can go to CJ. I can click, right? Let's say that I may, I sold this one. I need to put the settings here. And I add it to the cart and I wanna make the, the purchase. Come on, all right. Okay, let's delete this one. This from the yesterday's demonstration. <laughs> um, and then I want to um, to buy it. I would need to add the address of the buyer, right? I'm just doing the usual checkout process. So I would click add new address and look at that. This button is not part of CJ. This is a button from DSM tool that if I click on it just out, Within one second, I don't need to fill up the information of the buyer, no nothing. It just chooses all of the information for me. I can confirm it and I can continue and submit the order and it saves me tons of time. And um, we have a complete automated order system that currently doesn't yet work with CJ, it does work with AliExpress already, where um, what will happen is that we will set up a computer for you and we will set up a robot that all of these actions that I've just done, like clicking on the product, adding it to the cart, choosing like, click, all, doing all of that, it will just do for you. So even that can be automated for you, uh, which is what we do. We build automation tools that help you to um, run your business more easily. Yeah, so DSM tool is very powerful and easy to use. Yeah, highly integrated with CJ dropshipping. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Integrated with 50 different websites. CJ is definitely one of my favorite uh, websites that we're integrated with. Just because of that powerful thing, that uh, that strategic thing of being able to send sourcing requests. And you saw, I just reduced the price. If you think about it, not only that I'm going to make more profit, I don't have to take that as a profit. I can just reduce my price on eBay 
and maybe that would make me more competitive and I will generate more sales because it will take my competitors so much time to find out that I was sourcing this product from CJ and that I have a cheaper price. Maybe they're sourcing it from AliExpress, for example, or maybe they're sourcing it for a higher price. I can make all of the sales for myself. CJ is a super powerful sourcing uh, tool and uh, DSM tool is a really powerful management tool for the store. And I think that this is why they go so well together. Yeah, thank you. And I would like to tell you guys that there is a, a much more easier way to source from AliExpress and uh, then you can buy uh, from CJ. That is um, CJ Dropshipping Google Extension. Uh, you just need to set the clicks then you can um, source from AliExpress. Wonderful. I'm okay. going to use that in the course. <laughs> um, CG job shaping Google extension. Okay. Then we have time for the Q and A. Okay. So we got a questions like uh, a question like a. Where is it? Yeah. Here it is. We got a question from a Facebook user. <laughs> what is the best all the time? Is Beautiful question. Yeah. Are we only on uh, Facebook or also on YouTube? By the way. Demi, mm -hmm. are we live also on YouTube or only Facebook? Both. Nice. So <clears throat> I love this question because this question touches the uh, the topic uh, of what, like a lot of people don't understand uh, the difference between Shopify and eBay very well. And then they're asking, okay, but what, what is the niche that I should choose? And when it comes to running a Shopify store, the trendiness of the niche is very important. You, you want to choose a niche that has high uh, profit margin and you want to choose a niche that has uh, uh, that is trending and that generates currently a lot of sales as a niche. And you want to have in your store, probably uh, some people do it with one product. Some people do advertisement with one product that will have in their store a lot of products. And why do they choose a, a niche to focus on? Because when you build your own store with Shopify, then you put money on advertising. Remember that table that I showed with, with what you have to put on each one of the different uh, business models, uh, eBay, Shopify, Amazon, then in, in Shopify and in Amazon, you put the money on advertising or on inventory, and then you take a lot of risk and you want to focus on a group of products that you know that this group is a good group. So niche is important. But when it comes to eBay dropshipping, because you don't need to design your store, and because you don't need to um, to pay for advertising, because you're running on the traffic of eBay, which niche you're selling from, it really doesn't matter. What matters is not the niche of products, but the specific product that you're looking for. You because from when you sell on uh, in a Shopify store, you can set the price double than what it is on CJ dropshipping, double than what it is on AliExpress. When you're selling an item on eBay, you have to set the price according to the competition in eBay. You can't just set whatever price you want and then buy, put advertisement and all hope that people will buy. You have to play by the eBay rules. And therefore, the what's important is not what is the best niche, but what is the best product. It, you can sell 10 products from 10 different niches but all of them will have good tracking record. Uh, I, I, put, I, I send you back to the beginning of the, this call where I showed an item on eBay that had 10 sales. This is a good sell, selling record and that you can source for a cheaper price from another website. Um, but the price that you're gonna sell for uh, and the success in you making sales is determined by the competition on eBay and by everything that happens on eBay. So what you're better off with is to look for as many products that has this arbitrage between uh, between eBay and AliExpress or between eBay and CJ. And you don't care from which uh, niche they're from. You just care that this specific product, I can find the exact same product on AliExpress or on CJ um, uh, rather than I want to sell 
fishing equipment. Because if you will look only into the fishing equipment, you're gonna have very small amount of opportunities. And because you, your this business model is based on finding arbitrage and then doing all of all, everything that I showed you, all of these optimizations to the title and the images and all of that, that generates you more traffic from eBay and eBay gives you the traffic and you don't have to pay for it, um, then you're better off with trying it with as many products as possible, doesn't matter from which we, niche, as long as you do good product research and not niche research. Now, I, I will say that there is something that is called niche research in eBay dropshipping, in which you look for hot niches, right? You find a hot niche that uh, has uh, that, that generates a lot of sales, but that is trending. But the reason that you look into this niche is in order to, within that niche, find these opportunities of one product from this niche. Um, so I would say that uh, when you do uh, research for Shopify and you choose a niche, you do that because you're gonna build the entire website around that niche and the entire audience is gonna be around that niche. But when you do niche research for eBay dropshipping, you can look into 10 different niches in one day and from each one of them take one product to your store and run a, a general store on eBay uh, because it just it doesn't make sense to focus on one niche when you're doing you you change your products all the time so it doesn't make sense to focus on one specific niche yeah so for eBay runners you should start a, a general store instead of niche store there is yeah it, it yeah I mean yeah that's the the best way to say that yeah it's just that I, I hate using this terminology of general store and niche store because it's such Shopify terminology. Like in eBay, in eBay dropshipping, there is no such thing as niche store. You can't start a niche store. It doesn't exist. There's only general stores. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, move to the next question. Sure. Yeah, from a new DSM user. Uh, hello, welcome. Oh, yeah. I don't know how do you send the item once. The, uh, I think uh, he's totally new to dropshipping. Uh, this question, I can answer this question maybe. Um, once you got orders from your customer, then your customer paying to you, then you got the order. Then when you um, like authorize your store to see the dropshipping, then we will draw your, draw your orders from your store then you pay for these orders and we will fulfill the orders for you. Then we send the puzzles to your customers. Can I Is add something clear? on top of that? Uh huh. I want to say to people that, mm -hmm. that if you don't know the answer to this question when you're joining DSM tool, first, I, I also demonstrated in this webinar, yeah. like, right, I showed here uh, there is a sale, uh, here I'm taking the details of the customer, I'm making the order on CJ and CJ will ship it to the customer. But I want to say that if this is the question that you're asking yourself, then um, you will have a lot of value from going to DSM tool, clicking on the learn dropshipping button and take the, the complete step-by-step -step course because I explained there not just the practice of what buttons to click on, but also the theory, the further theory about digital marketing and how everything works that will put all of the pieces together for you and put all of the pieces together for beginners. And it's really, really recommended because if you don't do that and you try to do it yourself and you figure out that you don't understand how to do, I mean, we're talking about sales. How do you handle returns? How do you handle chargebacks? All of these things that will continue, that, that can come up into you, in your business uh, can eventually, if you don't go through a proper training program, uh, can cause you to lose your account. And mm -hmm. if you lose your account, then you lost your business. Uh, really doesn't worth it. So this is a personal suggestion. I mean, um, I, I'm biased because I give the course, but I, I really think that it's valuable. Yeah, we got another question. Maybe um, this audience missed our beginning. He's asking if the SEO is automated by DSM tool. Mm -hmm. And I'll say that, uh, I think that if you want to do proper SEO, there is no such thing as complete automated because SEO is kind of like an art. I mean, finding products, profitable products, that's a very technical job. There is not a lot of art in there, but choosing what keywords you want to use, creating the image, choosing the item specifics, doing all of that, it's still relatively technical. 
but it's impossible to do it completely automatically. You want to, especially in the beginning, to put at least five minutes per product to and read a, read a guide that I shared in this article. Go to blog.dsntool.com, type SEO in the search box. You will find a guide. Read it through. It will really explain to you also the why or take the course. It will really explain to you the why behind it and then the practice of how to do it. And you will understand that it's 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 not possible to do 100% automated and you don't want it because you can have an advantage but not having it automated. Like if we would automate it, it would do the same SEO to every person that puts this product, but you want to be unique. This is the thing about uh, how you do it properly. Mm, indeed. Yeah, next question. Is target audiences for eBay is only USA? Okay. It's a good question. Uh, I want to share my screen for a second. Um, DSM tool supports um, both eBay and Shopify. And when it comes to eBay, it supports uh, eBay USA, eBay Australia, eBay France, eBay Italy, Germany, Spain, Canada, uh, and as I said, in terms of sourcing, when you source from CJ Dropshipping, you can ship to all of these countries. Uh, and moreover, when you're selling on eBay, even if you're selling in the US, you can uh, set, it's called uh, shipping policies. Um, and again, take the training program or go to the DSM Tool Help Center and look for uh, how to set up shipping policies. When you set up shipping policies, you can set up that you sell to worldwide and then it doesn't matter where your store is, you're selling worldwide. And it's great because CG dropshipping ships worldwide, so you can sell worldwide. Yeah. Then um, we've got last question for today's webinar. For today's webinar, okay. Oh, we're having so much fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elena. Uh, hi, Elena. I should pick the item to sell from CJ or Ali or others. So my recommendation is to do the product research based on AliExpress, meaning if you go, uh, go, go again, uh, join the SM tool and then learn the process of sniping, do sniping from AliExpress because AliExpress has 1.5 billion products in it. And then every product that you manage to snipe successfully, every profitable product that you find, open a sourcing request to CJ Dropshipping and you will probably, not all of the products will be sourced for cheaper, but you just saw I reduced $2, which are $2 profit for every sale. And if we're talking about 10 sales here, we're talking about $20 extra to profit that I could make just by sourcing it from CJ. And it takes two minutes, like it takes two clicks to do it, right? With the, with the Chrome extension of CJ. Right. Oh, we got a, a, another two questions now. Well, look at that. <laughs> mm -hmm. At last, winning formula mix for eBay dropshipping. He's asking, what's the winning formula to do eBay dropshipping? The answer is one and only. Keep uh, updating your inventory. Don't expect that you're going to do, like you're going to start dropshipping on eBay. In the beginning is hard. You barely make any sales. You have to be persistent and you have to continuously optimize your store. You have to always introduce new products because otherwise, if you don't keep with the latest trends, and when I'm saying latest trends, I mean the trends of this week. Every single week, you, a lot of your inventory has to change. Uh, so um, always keep listing new items, the newest trends, always keep finding new products to sell and add them to your store, and always keep removing products that are underperforming, that don't make sales, that don't get views. Not every product, like a lot of people are listing products in the beginning, and they're like, I did a lot of research. This item is definitely gonna sell and then it doesn't sell, and then they're like, oh, this thing doesn't work. Well, 90% of your products are not gonna make even one sale. Like, think about it. You have to do all of this time of research just to find 10 products, just for one of them to start generating sales. Well, these are the statistics, guys. It's a low risk business model, but the, this is the, the, the other side of it is that it's hard to generate those sales. So you have to be persistent and always find new products to sell, always list them to, the, to your store and always remove from your store products that are underperforming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great, great. 
a question from Lydia. Uh, Hi, Lydia. It's easy to answer, I think. Yeah. Uh, if you can register a new eBay account for, if you, again, I, I suggest for uh, this kind of question to take the step-by-step -step video training program that we have. Uh, and if you don't want, when you join DSM tool, uh, you the first email that you get has a help center article in it. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll even show you it to you because I have two minutes left. Ooh, I'm on a, <laughs> I'm on a rush here. I'll show you when you join DSM tool for the first time, then we are sending you uh, this guide. It's called the Start Dropshipping on eBay Five-Step Configuration Checklist for day one, where step number one is how to sign up to, uh, it's, it, it has five steps that you need to do. And the first one is how to sign up to eBay and PayPal for beginners with a seller account. It's not as a buyer, it's as a seller. And then how to set up an account in DSM tool, how to, what are the recommended se settings for your eBay store, how to set up business policies, which is the shipping policy. We talked about it when we talked about worldwide, how to optimize your DSM tool account settings and some pro tips on uh, how to uh, uh, do even further than that. Uh, take an account that it will take two to three hours to read through everything and learn how to do everything. Like you need some time in the beginning, but it would totally mm -hmm. worth it. And again, you can also do it with me in a video program uh, step by step. Yeah, that's and great. And good luck, Lydia. Yeah. So we will share the link for the video tutorial later, okay? Perfect. Yeah. And someone asking for the blog URL. And I would like to say that the uh, blog of the DSM2 is very, very, very great. They offer very, very um, great contents in their blogs. Yeah, that's very great. Thank you. Yeah. It's blog.dsmtool.com. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, maybe it's because of the time and uh, we uh, not got not so many people join us today, but you guys can still drop your questions anytime in the comments and we will answer the questions one by one. I promise and to answer can... every comment yeah. in the answers. Yeah. Uh, so would you like more questions or we should end today and uh, we answer questions in the comments? I think one and a half hours is enough and we're gonna end it up. I just wanna say, mm -hmm. um, if one thing that I could say in the end is first, I'm very happy mm -hmm. that there were no alarms over mm -hmm. here in the past one and a half hours. It's crazy time. Everything is crazy around here. Uh, but more importantly, I want to say to people that um, mm -hmm. I want you to remember when you're when you're starting with the SM tool and when you're starting with eBay dropshipping, that you are starting a business. And I want you to sit down and ask yourself and write down in a note, why are you doing it? Because if you will not hold that why with you while you're doing it, you're gonna give up so fast. Most people that are starting and don't have that willingness in them, they just drop. Because it's a bit, it's hard to, to build your own business. It's very hard. So um, decide with yourself what is your why and give yourself that credit and put the effort into doing it. And I really wish you good luck because eventually you also need a little bit of luck always in business. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much and uh, um, for your time and your effort for sharing your um, variable insights with us Or Yeah, thank you, Kbir. And uh, anyone join us in the comments today. And um, at last, I wish all you guys um, safe, right? Yeah. Thank you, Demi. That is thank my, you very much for this yeah. wonderful collaboration. Yeah. You guys That's are really great. My important. Yeah. Wish you guys all safe. And have a happy life. And uh, um, guys, just remember, drop comments. Yeah, drop your questions in the comments at the time. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, and have an, have an awesome Thursday and keep hustling. Yeah, that will be the end of today's webinar. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>